snow, it better not snow. Let it snow. Snow after we leave. Okay, who's the knuckleheads that say the mud boards are better than the buckets? I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you this lovely mud that I'm in right now. Just going to be like a funny uh, reenacting of, of the situation about mud boards. Mud boards probably have to be every five feet, okay? So all of a sudden, here we go. I want you to see the, the mud that I'm dealing with. So the mud board has to be at least so many feet back so you can pick this up like this and do that like 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 normal, right? Okay, and then you're gonna do this. Is this what you're gonna do? Oh, you have no handle and you're gonna drag it. Or people are gonna say, well, you're gonna have them every five feet, Angelo. That's right, every five feet, okay. That's fine. But when you're dealing with one course of block, oh, by the way, with the mud board, it has to be a higher, because it's not comfortable. If you have so many courses of block, if I had four courses of block, I would use a mud board. But when you deal with a bucket of mud and it's already tempered, oh yeah, we're not even talking about when the sun comes out and it dries your mud board. Then it dries your mortar. Then you gotta put water in your, in your mortar. But same thing here. I could spill a little bit of water in here and I could shake it up right here. Boom, it's done, it's ready to go. So, here we go. We got a mud hole here. So I pick up the mortar and I do this. Look at it. I don't know. Wow, is that easy, huh? Ooh. That's easy. No, I gotta do this or, like I said, with one course of block, you ain't throwing five mud boards down here because there's no time, there's no timing for that, no room for that. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're, uh, like I said, when you're having a couple courses of block, your mud board is usually this high, right there. What are you gonna do? Waste block and there it is right there. That's a comfortable uh, elevation for a mason, like that. But when you have, uh, like I said, one course, two courses, you just, it's much easier with a, bu with a bucket. When we had uh, six courses, different story. You try to play around walking in this mud and doing that. Got it? Perfect. Let me lay it down right there, Chris. I can't even bring my backhoe up here, smooth out the dirt, so they have a level playing field, nice level area to put your material. And I know I didn't bring extra plywood. I brought a tarp so I could put the block on the tarp so it doesn't collect uh, uh, mud. On. See, this right here is a half a block right here. Okay, you see a half a block right there. See what happens when you you uh, put the block in the mud? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a good block to lay. Yeah, it's a great, great block to lay. So you get a little bit. Your attitude is a little bit different in the winter time. It's tough. So you just improvise and do what you can do. Um, that's about it. And I still didn't even tackle the porch over there. I gotta go over there, fight like heck, just to get over there and, and pull back the mud. So, like I said, it's gonna be fun. Yes, he does. He's really <laughs> excited. Yay. I love my job. That's <laughs> why, yeah, he better say that. <laughs> oh, I got the best boss in the world. Yeah, that's another one. I looked at everybody, everybody's like, not really talking, or aggravated. I'm aggravated too, but we work together as a team.
help each other out and try to get this thing done because this uh, next couple of days it might snow and might rain and that gonna be fun it's not gonna be fun to come back here mm -hmm. so oh this is what I'm gonna do and you're gonna video it I'm gonna bring the back over there and I don't see how much fun it is when you're trying to get knock down the dirts and, and all that. Chris, don't worry about the plywood. I'm going to rip the heck out of that. Out of that. Okay. So, Judah will be back soon. Then we'll take a break. But if you got a little bit of mud, you can finish the wall. If you don't, stand in the mud. I don't care. You want to do that? Secret about Angelo. He's really obsessed with Funyuns. Funyuns? Funyuns. When I first started working for him, he had he bought a bag of Funyuns every day. Every day when I first started here two years ago. He's cut back, but he still loves his Funyuns. Oh my word. So there's a secret. 